Hey everybody, my name is Christy and I want to thank you for joining me today as I start stitching in some details in my Heaven and Earth designed Lady and the Unicorn chart. This is my first Heaven and Earth design chart and I have been working with five colors since I started this project in December of 2021. I'm about, I'm almost 4% done so I have almost 9,000 stitches in. And they've all been background. So if you look at this picture here, this is a picture of the finished object, obviously. And I decided that I wanted to stitch down to this puppy right here. So this puppy lives in this space here. And I did just notice as I started filming this that this section right here is in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna have to move that over. That's That should be five stitches over because I don't want red in the middle of the puppy. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna start stitching from the top down and I'm only going to do one strand and I'm going to be doing 38.55 and the reason I'm only doing one strand is because I stitch using Pattern Keeper which is on my phone which is where you are right now. I'm filming on my phone. So what I ended up doing was I printed out the page with the puppy and I colored in black all the areas that I've already stitched and that's how I noticed that that was wrong and I color coded two different colors that I thought I might want to stitch on camera. And I think I'm just gonna stitch 3855 because that has the most, you know, that has, it's very confetti heavy, this little puppy. And so that has the most stitches uh, in this area. I'm stitching this two over one on 20 count Ivory Ada. I grid it myself with a friction pen every five stitches because I am not great at counting as you can see by this error here. I am using a 25 a size 25 tapestry needle from Tulip. And I really like Tulip needles. 25 is a little larger than I would want, but it's what I happen to have in this room. So that's what I'm using. It's the smallest needle I have in the room. I'm using these Saju scissors that my husband got me for Christmas or my birthday. I think my birthday. And I didn't think that having, you know, they're a little bit pricey and I didn't think that having pricey scissors would matter, but they are phenomenal scissors. So I really love them. And like I said, I do two over one and I start with a, a loop. I do a loop start. So I'm gonna do that as well. And as I said, I think I'm gonna work from top to bottom because there are a couple stitches up here. In fact, there's a stitch up here, up here too. I might start with that stitch right here and then kind of move my way down here. I do work in hand, so I'm going to try my best to keep everything still and in frame, but it might shake around a little bit. I am only going to do this one strand and then what I'm going to put, what I'm going to do, because I normally use a, a magnifying glass, my eyes are not very good. My, I've never had good eyes. And so I want to make sure that I don't mess up. And so I'm going to stitch this with you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture after every strand and this dog, this puppy will be my focus for the week. And every time I finish a strand, I'll take a picture. And then at the end of this video, this kind of live, live video, I'll post a progression of the picture so you can see the puppy grow. I don't really have much else to talk about. So I think what I might do is just throw on some music and I'll let you sit with me. So I hope that you enjoy it.
that's as far as I'm going to go in this session. It was hard. <laughs> I actually messed up already because I didn't mark off my squares well enough on my sheet. And so I started a row here that should have been started here and it caused everything to so rip that out, which I think I'm going to keep in. That is the start of my puppy and I'm very excited. From now on, I will just show you the pictures and by the time you see it, this will be fixed as well. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the progression of the puppy. Bye.